Today, we're going to be breadboarding an envelope follower circuit. For those of you that don't know what it does, an envelope follower takes an AC signal and creates a positive signal that tracks along with it, smoothing out all the individual peaks and valleys. So let's begin by looking at the circuit schematic used for this breadboard. The input signal comes in here. This is an op amp rectifier circuit. This op amp rectifies half the incoming signal, and this amp rectifies the other half. This op amp charges a capacitor that smooths out the rectified signal with this resistor and potentiometer providing control on how fast the charge in the capacitor is released and therefore the tightness and tracking to the input signal. The last op amp here is a unity gain follower to keep the output impedance low and finally the output signal leaves the board here. Now for the breadboarding. Let's start with some power filter caps 10 microfarad. Next, the LM324 op amp chip, the power connections, and the ground connections. Diodes, note the polarity. Now the 10K resistors. This one on the open bus will be connected to the potentiometer later. The 20K resistors. the jump from pin 7 to pin 10, the jump from pin 12 to pin 9, the signal smoothing cap on pin 12, the feedback on the final op amp stage. Now we can bring the face plate back and reattach it. Input jack connections are made. Output jack connections. Connections to the potentiometer. The unused wires can be folded neatly or plugged into unused buses. Once we pass a quick smoke test, we can mount it on the rack. Now let's see what it does. With the signal from a percussion module as the top trace and the envelope follower as the bottom trace, we can see by adjusting the potentiometer the envelope can be smoothed out to match the profile of the incoming signal without trailing off too much past the end of the input signal. So what can we do with this? Patch it back into the VCO used for the signal source for an effect like this. Or you can patch the envelope into a voltage controlled filter for an effect like this. Now for a bonus feature, we could take another op amp and set it up as a unity gain inverter like this. Now we add this op amp to the board, power connections, ground connections, two 100k resistors. and a connection to the jack for the output. And here we have the envelope signal only in negative volts. This can be used the same way as the positive envelope but has a different effect. 
Here's the dry signal percussion sound. Connected to the VCO. Connected to the VCF. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this little breadboarding adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.